The Supreme Court is judging its first major gun rights case in more than a decade. The justices heard arguments yesterday challenging a New York state law that could be a game changer for many concealed carry laws nationwide. Jan Crawford is outside the Supreme Court with more on this story. Jan, good morning to you. Good morning, Gail. You know, this case really pits a person's right to carry a gun for self-defense against New York's interest in limiting the number of guns in some public places. Now, New York will let you carry a concealed gun for self-defense, but you've got to have a permit for that. And to get one, you've got to prove that you have a special need for it. And that is different than the law in 43 other states where it's actually easier uh, to carry a gun outside the home for self-defense. This case came about after two men in upstate New York didn't get the concealed carry permits that they wanted. They said that was unconstitutional. And yesterday, a majority of the Supreme Court justices seemed to agree, but they divided along these liberal conservative lines. Listen here to uh, conservative Justice Samuel Alito. He appeared sympathetic to the gun owners. And then take a listen to liberal Justice Stephen Breyer, who appeared not to be. But the people, all, all these people with illegal guns, they're on the subway, they're walking around the streets, but the ordinary, hard-working, law-abiding people I mentioned, no, they can't be armed. But here, when you have a self-defense, just for whatever you want, to carry a concealed weapon, uh, you go shooting it around and somebody gets killed. Now, this court hasn't really offered any guidance in this area since it ruled that the Second Amendment protected a person's right to have a gun for self-defense. So this case could have important guidelines for other gun regulations nationwide. Tony? And the Second Amendment debate continues. Jan, thank you very much.